this is actually a hidden beach here. The tide's so low that I was able to walk along all the volcano rocks. Usually this is all underwater. And I'm actually at a spot right now that I've never been here. It's pretty neat. There's so much coral and shells and all that here because nobody ever comes here to, to pick them up. So this is covered in crabs. Look at all this is all coral reef. All of it. Really neat. Makes you wonder where the stream goes. It's coming from somewhere. These are all prickly pear cactus. Back in Canada, these are really expensive in store, but they grow wild everywhere here. All along with the coconut trees and all the vegetation. Makes me wonder what's down here. Oh, this is very cool. <laughs> Walk through some big spider's web. This freaks it out here in the jungle. Whoa. Wow. So beautiful hiking in here. Absolutely gorgeous. Vines and cactuses and so much cool trees and plants. Wow, look at that tree coming up. And all of a sudden you just see random wicked cactuses in there. Like look at that thing. Absolutely beautiful. It is about 10, 12 years old down. You can tell because it shows the age on it. Wow, look at this tree. This is such a wicked place to hike. Look at that tree. I actually learned this week that uh, a normal tree grows like this and they have a parasite tree that grows right beside it. Roots shoot right down in the ground and wrap around the, nor the main tree's roots. And then it grows all the way up, slowly stealing all the nutrients, everything good the tree has and eventually it kills the roots and the parasitic tree that grew around it stays alive and some of those ones get so big and the one downtown the guy told me it was 300 years old how big it was i wouldn't actually be surprised wow this is so cool some weird bugs around here the birds dig holes in the cactuses wow this is cool